Hello everyone. The man has got nothing that he can do right, especially with his collective of the ANC. They don't want us in parliament today because it's a group of cowards. There is no leader who's a coward like President Ramaphosa. The Economic Freedom Fighters said it will boycott the State of the Nation address that is to be delivered by President Cyril Ramaphosa following the judgment of the High Court to ban its six members of parliament. The EFF said there was no value in attending the sauna when six of its senior members have been banned from taking part in the event. The Western Cape High Court rejected an application by the EFF to lift the suspension of the office party leader Julius Malema, his deputy Floyd Shivambo, Secretary General Marshal Lamini, and Buisen Ndlozi. The EFF former spokesperson Vianne Pambo and current spokesperson Sinao Tambo have also been banned from parliament for a month. This was after the Powers and the Privileges Committee last December slapped them with a one-month ban for disrupting Ramaphosa during the sauna last year, February. The members of the EFF had stormed the stage when the president was addressing the nation. They took the matter to the High Court in attempt to reverse the decision of Parliament. The ban of the six members of the EFF came into effect at the beginning of February and will end at the end of the month. The EFF on Thursday described the decision of the High Court as undemocratic and stifling debate in Parliament to hold Ramaphosa accountable. He said, consequently, all EFF members of the Parliament will not participate in the 2024 SONA activities and program as these are undemocratic and unconstitutional and the so-called state of the nation address in 2024 is an extended caucus of the ANC. Partial participation in the 2024 SONA activities and program will imply that some of our members of parliament agree with the unlawful, undemocratic and unconstitutional decisions of the parliament to forbid and banish elected members of parliament. We will therefore not attend or participate in the ANC's extended parliamentary caucus. The EFF said it will focus on its manifesto launch in Devon on Saturday and Malema has been What's a campaigning this in the city Thanks during for the ahead of the manifesto news. launch. Well, he has failed, failed completely. He said uh, to Mamina, but uh, he was saying to Mamina to go and switch off electricity. He was saying to Mamina to go and close jobs and collapse the economy. He has failed in all aspects. The health facilities have collapsed. The infrastructure that he inherited has collapsed because the man has got nothing that he can do right, especially with his collective of the ANC. They don't want us in parliament today because it's a group of cowards. There is no leader who's a coward like President Ramaphosa who's being protected by the judges. He's hiding behind the red dresses of the judges because he knows politically he will not be able to defeat us. We're not worried about that. We are on the ground mobilizing our people for the launch of our manifesto so that we can take over this power and deliver proper services to our people, give them the land, give them jobs and stop load shedding. We'll appeal it to the Constitutional Court because we must not allow that precedence where elected members of parliament can be removed through undemocratic uh, methods and supported by the captured judiciary. It started like that in Zimbabwe where members of parliament are rough tackled, are violated, journalists are arrested as we speak in Zimbabwe and the judges are agreeing with that nonsense. We saw it in Zimbabwe, it's coming to South Africa it must be stopped. It must be stopped with immediate effect. Judges are not caught. Judges are not the constitution. Judges are not God. And therefore they must be criticized when they are wrong. How do you say not, must not call point of order? You regulate speech in parliament where parliament is a mini heaven where parliamentarians can say anything without fear of being prosecuted or arrested because they are protected by parliamentary privileges you come as a judge and take away that you know fundamental and absolute right of members of parliament we are going to challenge this and we are going to challenge these judges and we will show them that they are politically driven they have descended into the arena and therefore they are no longer judges they are politicians and they will be treated as such